All right, so we went through some of the quotes. We go do it again about Kyle Allen. Um, Ron Rivera said post game he liked what he saw uh, from you know it's funny you think of him as a second year guy he's actually a third year guy right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he didn't play much at all in his first year um, but he plans to stick with him as the starter uh, does does Valdez have any of the audio there's some extended stuff uh, sorry go ahead where Rivera talks about Kyle Allen you mean the uh, the stuff that we played earlier yeah could you replay that um, just for people that are just tuning in. Uh, where he talks about how he thinks he saw what he wanted and that sort of thing from just, Kyle. Just with your overall offense performance in general, when you were hoping, when you made the quarterback switch last week, you kind of wanted um, to see that that jump. Obviously, the yardage wasn't there, but were there areas you identified that you you saw the quarterback change? Like, I thought I thought I thought, I thought, I thought um, you know I thought the the scoring drive that uh, that Kyle led us on uh, was good. I, I thought he made good decisions. Um, he delivered a, a good ball for the most part. Um, and then unfortunately, the, the, the next time he had a little drive going, you know, he got knocked out of uh, the game. Um, but again, it, it's what it, we're looking for. Um, you know, he managed it well. And we'll see how things go if he's uh, healthy and ready to roll on Wednesday and see how it goes uh, this week. Now, do you agree with uh, the decision that he made uh, in the middle of the game? Because Allen, we talked about it, was cleared to come back. And he says he mm -hmm. did think about putting him back in the game, but it is kind of unusual. And I, and I think Alex will hold up okay. But he, he allowed Alex to stay in there and take the hits instead of Kyle taking the hits. Right. Um, are you Very uh, interesting. Which is uh, kind <laughs> of interesting. Weird. I found it weird that he, that he let the guy in who's you're really worried about his health and his comeback right. and his recuperation and can he withstand the punishment. <clears throat> and that's the guy that you're going to let take the live bullets instead of the guy that you've uh, placed your faith in as the starter. I think Rivera's been straightforward. I don't totally believe him here. I think they wanted to see Alex Smith. I think so that's what it was. He was treating it, was, it like yeah. a preseason game, and he wanted to see some reps from Alex Smith. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, I'll go with that, too. Yeah, I think for sure. And I think he saw <laughs> – you, you know what he said? I saw enough of Dwayne. I think <laughs> right. he saw enough of Alex. Yeah. yeah. I mean, God bless him. He's this running is, out of options at the quarterback spot is yeah. the problem. Yeah, he is. Um, but here are some more quotes. I mean, I, I could go either way in that because when, when he – when Allen came back onto the field and was standing there on the sideline with the earpiece in and they said he was cleared, I was thinking, okay, well, he just doesn't want to uh, expose who he thinks is going to be the starting quarterback the rest well, of the way. Well, that's what he was saying. Yeah. Right. But then I'm thinking, well, you know, I, I was on the fence because then I knew he wanted to see Alex. Yeah. But against that line and Alex was taking such a, a just a beating, I yeah. said, you know what, he probably just doesn't want to expose his guy. You yeah. know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know wh where I go on that. Um, you know, obviously Kyle Allen could probably get out of the pocket and escape some of those things that Alex couldn't. But against that line, he knew his offensive line was getting dominated the entire day. He probably just wanted to protect them. Yeah, I th I think he's probably right, and I I guess I agree with it because I wanted to see Alex a bit too. But after about three series, I'd saw I'd seen enough of Alex. <laughs> I'll be I'll be yeah. completely honest because I mean, he was just doing that same stuff he was doing last year. And two you know, years ago, no, yeah, through no two fault of his ago. own, he wasn't able to, to stretch the field. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's just move on. I mean, he did eventually take the one shot, which was off the fingertips. That yeah, was too little, too late. Yeah, too little, too late. But I think that's um, that's been symptomatic of all the quarterbacks have been in there. They're not looking downfield. Right now, this offense is a very sideways offense versus vertical. Yeah. Well, that's where, the, you know, the, the, uh, the criticism of Scott Turner uh, comes into play. Whether or not that's fair or not, who knows? Because we don't know. None of us know what's actually called and what the primary read is. I can't imagine that Scott is drawing up an offense where he just wants him to n complete Throw three yard sideways. passes all day. No, yeah. but that <laughs> offense looks a lot better when you're in Carolina with Christian McCaffrey. Well, again, he only – he only powers. But, again, he only was the coordinator there for three games. Right. It was short. The offense, it covers up a lot of warts when you have uh, a spectacular mm -hmm. player who's the centerpiece of the offense, which you don't have here in Washington. Right, but I think uh, Gibson has some potential. Uh, I would just – He definitely I mean, does. I would just move him to receiver. Why not? He's great catching the ball. Sure, he put did him it in, in college. College. Move him around the formation. Yeah. Do whatever you can to get the ball in his hands. He, he, he looks like his instincts as a runner are just kind of raw. I would just put him in a receiver, but – I know this. We haven't heard much out of 
Gandy Golden. Mm -hmm. Gandy Golden's not done much. Now, they did say yeah, no, that he was a project. They did say that, yeah. that he was a project and he was going to take some time. So I don't want to write him off yet. No, I'm but, not writing um, him off. But and, and, you know, he's a fourth-round pick. It's not like he was drafted in the first round. I mean, right. I don't think people expected him to be C.D. Lamb. Well, you know who had the same trajectory? Nobody expected that. Hopefully, <laughs> potentially, was Kelvin Harmon, right? He didn't produce a lot at the beginning, and right. then he showed some late. And then we were like, wow, we really need that dude. Um, and then he got hurt. Um, so, anyway, it's just interesting, the, 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 the Kyle Allen decision-making. He t was asked after the game uh, about Haskins, and, you know, we, we went through the audio where he says he, he threw a good ball. But he talks about that, that uh, seven-yard touchdown run, and Rivera said <clears throat> he saw man coverage. He saw the defenders had their backs turned. He knew he had the, the opportunity to tuck the ball and run. That was a good decision on his part, so he liked that. Uh, he said he played great. He played decisive, quick. Uh, he actually said he played great after the game. <laughs> I was excited for his opportunity. He's a good kid, works really hard, and obviously this is out of our control. So whatever uh, coach decides he goes with, that's his job. Whatever. Oh, this is Alex talking about him. Uh, whatever the team needs me to do, I'll do. Uh, but, of course, after the game, uh, Ron immediately said, if Kyle's healthy, he's going to get the start. Look, Rivera likes him. What I, I'm, I'm with you, EB, right now. If you were to grade Rivera, you'd give him an F. But he's pretty much, you know, I'll, we can interpret some of his comments, but he's pretty much a straight shooter. And what I and I, I respect that about him. And when when you heard him talk about Allen before this game, he talked about the ups, but he did talk about the downs. Like he said that you know he he had some good performances, but he also had some bad ones. So I think he's a realist when it comes to Kyle Allen. I think he's a realist with all of them. Now, all I know is that I think you he's a realist with all of them. You might not see a Vegas total as low as the Washington New York oh, total. What is, what is it? It's forty two and a half. Well, so I'm going to drop that down and go over it. Pretty low. I'll I'm probably saying that's, bump that's, the skins up. I mean, you're talking about two of the worst three offenses in the league, so um, you can expect that. But, man, that's right. a low total considering last week you had seven or eight games in the 50s. What are we? Are we like three-and-a-half-point dogs, or is it more than that? Uh, I think it's three. three. I, yeah. I'll, I'll take the skins plus nine and go over So you're already releasing your Friday fatty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Just that. Just remember, the Giants <laughs> did score in the 30s. It was against the Cowboys, and they yeah. did have one defensive score. But we'll, we'll bounce back a little bit. We'll I, bounce I, back a little bit. I disagree with JP, though. I think Ron talks out of both sides of his mouth. I don't, think, I don't think he's a straight shooter at all. Go ahead. Well, he hasn't he's been yet. Calculated. I think he's – well, I just I – I think he's kind of donk. Like he well, says you just one, admitted he says one, that he was BSing about Dwayne, just trying to prop him up. Well, I, it, he definitely BSed about Dwayne. The decision yeah. about Dwayne was already made after the Browns game. He – there was nothing that he could have done in the, the he in that hated Raven, that Browns game in that Ravens game that would have made Dwayne the starter for for the Rams. And then he and then Ron goes to the media and says Dwayne needs to do this and Dwayne needs to do that. And then you know didn't ha didn't have a turnover, had a, a fairly decent game. He wasn't the reason why the Washington football take team lost any shots. All right, I know, but he's not the reason why they lost. If anything, no, Ron would be more of the reason they lost than Dwayne. I mean, you had a commentator basically call the fake punt that, that Ron didn't see, which the, which the Ravens scored on. Mm -hmm. They had a receiver get the ball punched out, uh, uh, which led to a scoring drive from the Ravens. So, I mean, it's not like Dwayne made them lose the game. But, no. uh, but, he, uh, but, but Ron said he needs to improve, and if he, need, if he improves, then we'll go from there. And I felt like he did, and then he just benched him yeah, anyway. Yeah, but it was marginal improvement, in my opinion. Yep, I know, it, but he, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was marginal or not. Ron said we we need to see improvement. Right, and, well, I I, think and I've just felt like Dwayne did that, and then Ron already had a decision he in his head. Made up his mind. Yeah, he the mind. His mind was. Mind. And I'm not defending Dwayne. I'm not saying Dwayne is some some Pro Bowler, Hall of Famer quarterback. Wow. I'm just I'm just saying that Ron. Ron's not being truthful with everyone. Well, I you think may he's be protecting right. You him. may be right. You made a good case there, Valdez. I think because he's the more also I think about it, he is full of ass. They knew Kyle Allen was going to be their guy. That's why they brought him there. They gave Haskins, you know, a little rope, enough rope to hang himself, and that's what happened. Well, I think, and also, they didn't like the off-the-field stuff unless it's just totally bogus. Yeah. Because if, if the off-the-field stuff that we, he, that we heard is true, that's going to irritate every coach. It's going to be yeah. fascinating to see what happens this week. It's just Assuming it's, Haskins is over his tummy ache, <laughs> is he going to be a good soldier and be with the scout team and do everything – 
necessary he has to work to himself be. back to get pull the sick card two it's been, weeks in a row it's it's been four, it's been four games or five games and I'm already over Ron I just I think oh, I think are. I think he is a liar and I think well. I, long way to go. Come on, long way to go. I know, I know. Yeah, but all hey, co- all I'm the first one to grade him an F. I'm all I coaches was in first. The, <laughs> coaches just want to get through the media session as quickly as they can. Do you think they really care whether they're, right. they're seen no. as and forthright then, he and honest? I don't know. And then, then, then Ron throws Dwayne under the bus by saying that fourth down play was a test when you the theoretically are still in the game and you can you should take the three points. Yeah. I mean, it's just completely yeah, completely Ron's completely coaching worse. decisions during the games have been – very questionable, borderline awful. Uh, we're just as chaotic. There's no, no. There's no sense of okay, things have calmed down here. Like that's why he was brought in to bring in a sense right. of stability. It's supposed to be and, a steadying hand. And then, we haven't seen any of that. This place is just but, as chaotic as it's ever and, been. But I'm sorry, but there's no way that you can convince me that Ron Rivera thought it would be a successful year. <laughs> if he knew Kyle Allen was going to be a starting quarterback. Impossible. No. No, no, no. I'm it sorry. Did, it, hold on. It's not necessarily that, but it, there had to be some organization, some structure, some, uh, you know Ron, what I mean? Just feel like it was professional organization. It feels like it's just as a disaster as it always is. Ron's, Ron's plan from the get-go was to find his own guy. And then I don't think, I don't think he was truthful at all about, about Dwayne from the get-go. And and we're I think we're seeing it now because oh, we're seeing we're seeing like every, we're that. seeing everything play out. He's he might have told Dan that when, when Dan in was Allen. interviewing, he might have said, "Oh yeah, I, I can work with him. Yeah, but I can why make would, him a good quarterback?" Would, would Dan really hire the guy when his son made the pick for Dwayne Haskins? That is <laughs> is, is going to say, I, "I don't like Dwayne." I, I'm going to say I don't I don't bl- buy that story. I don't care who reported it. I can't believe you guys are getting faked out by the three in front of his yardage in that Ravens game. It was garbage stats. His QBR was 37. In that game, which ranks dead last in the NFL, his average yards per pass was seven yards, which ranks 25th in the NFL. He was, was garbage trashy. in that game. You I'm guys are just looking back at the 300 yards passing. I, he threw me in there. I said there. he was poop. He was poop. It was obvious. All right, we got to take chances. a break. What did I say? To, what, what did I say to make you feel any differently? Yeah. Oh, Valdez and Valdez and, and Eric are yeah, Valdez bet that half I'm not. Have, Valdez bet he was going to have 26 touchdowns this year. That's I, the I, angle he's I know, coming from. I, those, I told, those 300 <laughs> yards were empty calories. There was nothing Ron. there. 